What made you want to go to Wheaton? <laughs> um, what made me want to go to Wheaton is I didn't really have a choice. I didn't really have a choice. I didn't really have a choice. I had, um, I, I applied to a lot of really prestigious schools, and the class year that I was applying to be in the 2017 was one of the most, um, competitive over the past, like, 10 years or something, or 15, probably ever, I can't really remember. Um, and I just didn't get into a lot of them. I didn't get into five out of seven of the schools that I got into or that I applied to. So I, it was either between Wheaton or UMaine Farmington, um, and I liked Wheaton more, so I ended up coming here, and then I stayed. Um, so that's why I chose Wheaton. So my friends, and have got like three friends. Um, well, three friends in particular. They're not only three friends. I have more than fr three friends. They're not only three friends. I have more than fr three friends. It's cool. Um, but I have these three friends that are really close friends. What's your view on college education and overall how has it affected you as a person? I think the topics that I've chosen to study um, have really brought out a lot of positive things about how I learn and what I find meaningful in the ways of work in kind of us as a society and how we project ourselves. So a lot of it is an analysis. Um, so that's what's kind of been most important in how I have grown is to be able to value analysis the way I've wanted to, even though it was completely foreign to me. I'm like, well, you know, I'm going into this because I know I'm interested in this, but high school hasn't given it to me. So... Um, I think that's, I think it's made me more of a self-reflective person, too. I've been less blinded by a lot of things that I've done or ways that I've thought before. Um, so I think it's the analytical part. It's the social part of, of going to college, learning from different people. Um, I think that's it.